Welcome to the lecture, Crystal Structure of Semiconductors. In this lecture, we will be talking about the structure and characteristics of semiconductor crystal. We will start with a discussion of materials used in semiconductor devices, talk about structural characteristics and formation of semiconductor crystal, and calculate the density of atoms in semiconductor material. In terms of conductivity, all materials are divided in three groups. Those are metals, semiconductors, and insulators. Semiconductor is a group of materials having conductivities between those of metals and insulators. There is a separate group of materials called superconductors, which in certain environmental conditions can have practically infinite conductivity. Those materials are not used in integrated circuits, and we will discuss them later. The two classifications of semiconductors are the elemental semiconductor materials found in the fourth group of periodic table and the compound semiconductor materials, most of which are formed from the special combinations of third and fifth group elements. The elemental materials which composed of single atoms are silicon and germanium. Silicon is by far the most common semiconductor material used in integrated circuits. Semiconductor materials have the following specific characteristics. First, conductivity is dependent on external influence, as the temperature, illumination, electrical or magnetic fields. Second, conductivity increase in parallel with temperature increase. And the third, the conductivity can be widely modified by inserting dopants inside semiconductor crystal. These characteristics make semiconductor the most appropriate material to be used for electrical signal processing. We will discuss all of them separately in the upcoming lectures. Now, let's have a look on basic parameters of solid materials. In terms of atom arrangement, solids are divided into three groups amorphous, polycrystalline, and single crystal. Each type of solid is characterized by the size of an ordered region within a material. An ordered region is a volume in which atoms or molecules have a regular geometric arrangement or periodicity. This is important as each of the ordered region has its unique electrical characteristics. Amorphous materials have order only within a few atomic or molecular dimensions while the polycrystalline materials have a high degree of order over many atomic or molecular dimensions. These ordered regions in polycrystalline materials vary in size and orientation with respect to one another. The ordered regions are called grains and are separated from one another by grain boundaries. Bad thing with polycrystalline materials is that grain boundaries tend to degrade the electrical characteristic well, when passing from one grain to another. In other hand, the single crystal materials, in ideal case, have a high degree of order throughout the entire volume of material. The advantage of single crystal material is that its electrical properties remain the same on every part of the material. That's why our primary concern will be related to them. As we see, Semiconductor characteristics mainly depends on their crystal structure. Single crystal materials can be represented as three-dimensional repetitions of certain atom groups on regular intervals. The periodic arrangement of atoms in crystal is called the lattice, and the atom group is called the unit cell. In other words, your unit cell is a small volume of the crystal that can be used to reproduce the entire crystal by copying it in three dimensions. The so relationship between this unit cell and the lattice is characterized by three vectors, A, B and C. Those vectors need not to be perpendicular or have the equal length. Every equivalent lattice point in three-dimensional crystal can be found using the vector R, where P, Q and S are integer numbers. The direction and length of each vector are specific to certain crystal and are called lattice constants. Let's find the position of some random atom in the lattice. To reach to specified atom, the R vector will look like this. In our example, 
as a unit cell we discuss a simple cubic formation which has single atom located at each corner of the cube. There are two more cases of how a three-dimensional unit cell can look like. The body-centered cubic structure has an additional atom at the center of the cube and the face-centered structure has additional atoms on each face plane. These three structures are the most basic cases of the unit cell. As already stated, silicon is the most common semiconductor material and is referred to as the fourth group element and has a diamond crystal structure as a unit cell. So, why do we need to know all this anyway? By knowing the crystal structure of a material and its lattice dimensions or constants, we can determine several characteristics. For example, we can determine the volume density of atoms or how many atoms are located on specified semiconductor volume. Let's calculate the volume density of atoms for a body-centered semiconductor in 1 cubic centimeters. In this case, the lattice constant is equal to 4 angstroms. Each of the corner atoms is shared by 8 unit cells which connect at each corner, so each corner atom effectively contributes 1 8 of its volume to each unit cell. The 8 corner atoms then contribute an equivalent of 1 atom to the unit cell. If we add the body centered atom to the corner atoms, each unit cell contains an equivalent of 2 atoms. The volume density of atoms is then found as follows. So in this case, there are 3.125 times 10 to 22 atoms in cubic centimeters. So what we've learned. First, semiconductor is a group of materials having conductivities between those of metals and insulators. Second, semiconductors have controllable electrical conduction which makes them perfect for electrical signal processing. Third, semiconductors are single crystal materials with constant electrical characteristics over the whole material volume. And finally, semiconductors are represented by means of unit cells to model the actual lattice and to calculate crystal parameters as the volume density of atoms. You can find extra information about the learned material in the following references. Thank you.